Uh, so we focus really on the most challenging conditions. So here in Switzerland, for example, we have rivers, which are quite challenging to, to operate in as humans or as, uh, as any other solution that's currently out on the market. So that's not really possible. So there are no solutions for, for high currents, if you want. Uh, you have two options either you have a pilot operating the thing so you have a vr enabled user interface in that regard so you have both basically visual information and acoustic information uh displaced as a 3d map um, in real time for the operator or of course if you have an autonomous interface it's much simpler you just say well we need to search that area or inspect that kind of structure and it does it for you basically Thank <laughs> you.